So now behind me here is the hospital carriage. Uh, what this carriage here behind me I was used to do is to transport the wounded from battlegrounds, I imagine, in the wars, uh, getting them on the trains to the hospitals where they were to be treated. So here's there's some beds here, and then down the other end of the coach, there was some um, offices and also a, uh, a kitchen where they kept all of the medicines, which is just here. So yeah, that is the hospital carriage. Uh, so now we're now going to head over. Um, over onto the footbridge so we can have a big look uh, around the entire of the Great Hall. Stevens rocket, it's not the real one, but it is a replica. And this was when train steam first came to life. So behind me is Mallard. Uh, this uh, loco is an A4 Pacific loco built for the London North Eastern Railway to funder between London and Edinburgh. Um, and yeah, Mallard here, the really specific one, uh, holds still to this day the world speed record for steam of a total of 128 miles an hour, I do believe, 126, 128. Feel free to um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, my large. If you want to come see him, he's here at the NLM. Tilt it. I'm trying to get it down the rest of it. Yeah. First hole, really? Yeah. I just did it and got it all the way down to the bottom. I'm not taking it seriously, I just wanted to ping it around the water. Oh, yeah, what? Well, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm going to have to get this one. So, we're now here out on the balcony area where you can view the mainline trains running past and running past in and out of the north of the north end of York station. within the National Rail Museum is what the signaling screens which are controlled by York IECC Integrated Electronic Control Centre. This here is all the screens of all the railway lines around the York area. So this is just south of York, these are the lines coming in from, um, from Doncaster, also the lines out towards uh, Crossgates and Leeds. Here we have the approach to York station itself. Um, this is the southern entrance where our train came in today into part number six. So you see there's trains, where there's red lines, it's got the, the um, head codes of the trains, so saying what the destinations are, if they're a fast train, whether they're a slow train, so identify where. Then if we head out, we've got just north of the station, these are lines here, you see we've got nine micron zero, 
which is just approaching coming to the station to see her red signal. Line uh, one zero will form the twelve fifty seven service to London King's Cross, as stated on the board up there. Uh, and then you know, see the ICC keeps going. We've just all going to be heading off. And in directions, you can hear the trains outside now. So, yeah, that's the Integrated Electronic Control Centre. And further on, very different. This is the modern day signal. Let's go over there and have a look at the old signal system. Yeah, so the uh, red levers are for signals. The black levers are for points, and the blue uh, levers are lock bars, so to lock with uh, points in place. And the uh, yellow signal, uh, yellow levers are for distance signals, so they're course signals. And then you can see all the bells and the instruments used to communicate with the signal boxes along the line. So very different to the modern day IECC uh, control. example of how all the uh, the trains uh, signal boxes at the line communicate with each other so they use the codes special codes for entering the train so if I say I wanted to call uh, the signal box up, up along the line which Thomas is at the moment I would first of all call his attention with one bell he would then reply back with one and then that's acknowledging me and then I would say that I've got an ordinary passenger train which wants to enter the section, so I use the code three and one. So, if it, if the train can be accepted, he would then reply that three and one code back, which is that. So that's fine. And then when the train enters the section, I give him two on the bell, which lets you know that the trains enter the section. Uh, and then when the train gets to his signal box, he will call my attention with just the one bell just to let me know that the train, uh, that he wants my attention, so I would reply to him with a bell, and then he would say that the train has reached him and the train's out of the section, as it says oh. up there. So the code for that is a two and a one. And I'll just reply back saying, well, that's fine. And then that's the workings on communication from the signal box. It's basically using Morse code, but with bells. So yeah, now we're gonna head around now and look at the workshop. Hmm. Yeah, it's a horse. Horse and cart. And here is the Ramara. Very close to my life indeed. Why did I get in there? Absolutely no A way. Thomas inside a Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Thank you. Parents. <laughs> parents. Noticed parents do not let your, your kids on the thing who are more than 10 years old. <laughs> Anyway, that is it um, for in here, the Great Hall of the National Rail Railway Museum. Uh, we're going, just going to go and have a look at the trolls now, and then soon we'll be leaving the NRM, so now heading out over to the exit. And so that is it, that was the National Railway Museum. Uh, really enjoyed it, I've been here last time before, Thomas's first time. And uh, yeah, we've had a really good day. Well, how was it? Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I enjoyed myself. Very good, so yeah, that is it now. Uh, end of the National Railway Museum. And yeah, we will head back to York Station very shortly uh, after we've had some lunch or something. Uh, and yeah, head back home, so I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you for watching the video and the vlog. Uh, please remember also to like and subscribe for it. And yeah, hope you have uh, a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one.
Bye. Ready? Oh, I'm eating. <laughs>